So far, so good. No Wi-Fi, huh? I always miss the one with no Wi-Fi. I don't understand. Oh, man. Get Philippines. <laughs> Alright, so I got my I got my plane suit on. This is what I dress to be very comfortable in the airplane. I was thinking about something. I'm flying business class today. Business class is something that I've always thought was so out of reach, so out of touch. Even when I was making money, I was like, no, I need to save money. I need to not spend to go on to business class. There were times where I just flat out had no money and I would always travel economy. And I was watching this post that Steve Harvey did on TikTok and hopefully we can play that post. Pay a little extra money to fly first class. Once you get in first class and you see how wide the seats are, everybody get a washcloth, they got a menu, you get to decide what you want, all the drinks is free. Once you sit in first class one time, the next time you get on the plane, it's very difficult to walk past them seats. And then your mind starts thinking of ways to get back to first class. And guess what? That's what you start attracting to your life. And you start behaving and producing stuff to get you back into first class. Because here's the thing about your mind. Once your mind expands, it can never go back. So when you have this experience, it's like the universe and that drive that's inside of you, they conspire, they, they somehow come together to make it a reality to know that, gosh, like this is possible. It's not that far away. And this is what I can strive for every single day. So what I wanna do on my way to Dubai, I figured, look, I'm just gonna to film Dubai when I get there all that good stuff but I want to show you what it's like to fly in business class I'm actually gonna be flying on Philippines Air and the reason why is well I've been basically stationed here but Philippines is a pretty affordable airline on top of that I was actually able to use my points I was able to upgrade from an economy class a regular plane ticket to business class and my goal is to inspire you to make that effort effort, save that money, and try it out. Try it out for yourself to fly business class because I think once you try it and you feel it and you realize that it's possible, there's gonna be a shift, that paradigm shift in your mind and you're gonna be like, look, I wanna do this all the time. I'm going to figure it out. I'm gonna make it happen so that I always fly business class. So with that being said, my boy Jay is here. Jay, say hi. <laughs> We're gonna leave early so we make sure we get there early. Before we move forward, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the link below, there's gonna be um, a link. <laughs> In the link below. <laughs> my God, Philippines! So, you know. I was thinking about what I was saying earlier, you know, setting a goal of buying a business class. I want you right now, if you're watching, to think about a goal that you have, one that stirs you up, one that just kind of gets you excited, gets you pumped up. And then I want you to ask yourself, like, what's stopping you from accomplishing that goal? Right? See, somebody told me that you don't have to be great to start, but you do have to start to be great. One thing that has always helped me is imagine if you actually achieved your goal. Imagine how it would feel. I ask people, I ask them what their goal is. How would it feel? They call it peeling the onion because the deeper you get into the why, the more it starts to become real. It becomes more than just motivation. It becomes inspiration, right? The difference between motivation and inspiration. Motivation is something that you have to do daily and motivation is great because we also have to take a shower daily just because motivation doesn't last showers don't last either but we still do it but inspiration that's deeper that comes from within the soul that's where that why that's where that goal has to come from some of you guys are like well how the heck do i even set goals you know actually i did a vlog we can put it up here in bgc about setting your goal and the whole concept of it is that you can't hit a goal that you can't see more importantly, you can't hit a goal that you don't have. You should always figure out why, why you wanna do something. Once you find out the why, the how doesn't matter. The why is important. The why is what drives you. The letters W-H-Y to stand for what hurts you. 
They say your why should make you cry. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys when we get back to the airport. I'm just gonna chill for now. Gotta do some work. Make sure everything's set for our big event in Dubai. And my big move, because I'm gonna be looking at homes there too. So I hope that helps. I'm a hero of my cake. Independent leader made a way. I'm the people's voice here, Pippa Ray. Stuck to my pace, the turtle in the race. There's trophies on trophies, views from the townscape. Changes my brain to Dubai. God told me to. Alright, we're off. Alright, brother Jay. Yeah. Man, I'm so good. I'll see you guys. That's what you get when you out the way. By any means, I just listen. What Malcolm say, studied the game. I'm a student. Alright, checking in. Heading to Dubai. You know there's Wi-Fi on the plane? Please let there be Wi-Fi or something or text messages or something. No more? Gotta work. My gut, Philippines. <laughs> Made it to the lounge. That was the longest immigration line I've had to experience so far in the Philippines. There's this VIP service that I ordered while I'm in Dubai. I know they have it here in the Philippines. I may take it if it allows me to skip through immigration. Okay, so for the food, there was a lot of great things. I know I'm not fasting, I'm not doing the water fast or the same to our fast, but I still am doing my 90 days, so I'm still trying to watch what I eat. I know it's not the healthiest, but I got some noodles and some chicken, and that's all I'm gonna eat for now. Hope they got something good on the airplane. Mm, so good. What I want to do right now is take off these glasses because my eyes, well, I mean, the light's bright. Hopefully I brought my sunglasses. That was suck if I didn't. All right. Brought my sunglasses. Here we go. I really believe everyone should experience business class at least once in their lifetime. I know what you're probably thinking, like, that's a luxury I can't afford. Always add yet. I can't afford it yet. Because once you say I can't afford it, you've basically told your mind that you just can't afford it, period. Imagine stepping onto an airplane and being greeted by name, which is very cool. You're being shown to your seat. It feels more like a cocoon than a chair. It's a world where your comfort is just paramount. The stress of traveling is pretty intense, right? But it just melts away. The moment you recline on your seat, my God, Philippines. It's beautiful. But why you ask, is this experience so important? It's an opportunity to see the world from a different perspective. So many of us are so brainwashed at a young age to see the world from a certain perspective. And we feel there are certain things that only the elite can enjoy, the elite few, which is not true. There's a guy named Bruce Bannister. I think it's Bruce Bannister. My name is Roger. Or is it Bruce Banner? No, Bruce Banner is the Incredible Hulk. Bruh. He was famous for running the four minute mile because all the doctors, everyone in the world said that it is humanly impossible for anyone to run a mile in four minutes. If you run a mile in four minutes, your body will just shut down, your heart will explode, you'll die. And Bruce Bannister, I hope I'm saying his name right. Absolutely not. He basically told his doctors to F off. He believed in himself and he trained and he trained and he trained. He ran the mile in four minutes. Not only did he do that, but once he did that, the next year, other people started running the mile in under four minutes. Now granted, before he did this, no one did this for years, for hundreds of years. The year he did it, the next year, people were already doing it. You can go to high schools right now and there are people running miles in under four minutes, right? He broke the mold, he broke the barrier. So this is why I say, Sometimes you need to see things from a different perspective and so many people are so closed-minded But I'm telling you when your mind expands it can never go back. Anyways, I'm gonna eat now. There's more to it So stick around. Okay, so let me eat in peace. I Said in peace That means without the camera on. Sorry Up in the spot like a spotlight Hit the block like a hammer chasing knots like it'll disappear. Hello, how are you guys? Funny. Okay. Oh. One thirty. Okay. Thank you, guys. Bye bye. Here at the new Mabuhai Lounge. I know I filmed from here before, but so much nicer than how it was before. It looks and feels so much better. But I'm straight though, slim it's all good, it's all gravy baby, I'ma still do it. If it ain't killed you yet, then you can live through it. You bought as solid as a rock. Good? So far so good. No Wi-Fi, huh? I always miss the one with no Wi-Fi. I don't understand. Get Philippines. <laughs> like I said, they have a menu you can choose. 
This is the lay flat seats. This coffee is amazing. Unfortunately, the last maybe four or five times I've flown on Philippine Airlines, Wi-Fi wasn't working. Nine hours is a long time away from uh, people wondering where you are. I know there's a lot of you that get concerned about me and sad that you know I, I can't reach out to some of you guys sometimes. And I wonder what you're doing. Sometimes you just want to call me up and say, hello, is it me you're looking for? Hello. All right, I think everybody around me thinks I'm out of my and I kind of am. Let me show you guys. All right, so as you can see, we have access to making it firm. You can do a lay flat, lay flat bed. And then uh, right here, see? This comes out for the table. And you get to charge your phone here. A bunch of buttons to press so you can piss off the flight attendants. All right, so this concludes the business class vlog thank you guys for watching appreciate it i wasn't planning on doing a business class vlog but i decided that it might be something that uh you know y'all might like and i do feel that it is important to experience at least once in your life thank you flippers chinelas feel free to download the link so you get access to our group so you can uh, learn how to get on business class how to make money and we'll also see if maybe we can put together some cheat sheets because i know there's some ways to get on business class without having to pay and you get your phone so I can hear what's going on over here. thank you guys again if you guys like this channel subscribe follow me on my social media channels and look yo Jay if you're editing JV Jay whatever put my social media channels here like I always say follow me on my social media channels and nobody ever puts my social media channels here just put it just put it here put it Oh look, get a bag guys. Toothbrush, alone. it has sunscreen, lip balm, socks. There's some perks. But again guys, thank y'all for joining me. And I will see you guys in Dubai.